PayPal Ghana. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pay for school fees or any other fees online using your PayPal account. So first of all, you need a PayPal account for this purpose. In fact, for the first part, your account will be very, very necessary. I'll also show you a way to use PayPal or to pay through PayPal even without a PayPal account. That is for school fees and other payment portals. Um, that would depend on the receiver, the school or anybody receiving the payment. They can use PayPal as a third party so that you can pay with your debit card or a credit card. So without much ado, let's hop on and I'll show you how to go about this. You need a PayPal account and if you don't have a PayPal account, I'm linking to a video up here so that you can create your own PayPal account. Or you should go to the description of this video. I'll put all the videos I'll mention in this video there for your perusal. You can always go back there and then find these videos. So I'll use my PayPal account for this purpose and I'll show you my PayPal account. So this is how the PayPal account would be if you have created one. In fact, you will not have money on the account. <laughs> and that's just by the way. But um, PayPal is a payment portal and people can pay you through this payment portal. So I have received payments from people and this is my balance for payment I have received from people. You can use those payments to also shop online or you can redraw the money. But in Ghana, it's very difficult to redraw the money since Ghana is not PayPal compliant yet. We are still waiting for Vice President Baumia and his promise that Ghana will be PayPal compliant. We are still waiting on him. But the anatomy of PayPal is that you can have money on your account, just like you have a bank account. And then you can also link a debit or a credit card. So I have this money on my account. This money I can withdraw. But since I'm in Ghana, I'll, if I don't like withdrawing money from, from PayPal, even though I, I've done it before, but I don't want to because exchange rates and money transfer issues would take everything out of this money. If I want to withdraw this money, $28, I can only receive just about half or just about 60 70 percent the rest will go into all the avenues and all the routes this money will go through before you come to me so you lose a lot of your monies i don't advise you to drop paper monies if i use it to buy online instead the second option is that i have a card linked to this account this is the last four digits of the of the card it's advisable to link a card to your paypal account what a card does is that if i don't have money on this account if i if i had zero zero like i've created a new account i can use this card to buy anything online because it's linked to my account i will set it up as my preferred payment i'll show you how to go about that later but if that is my preferred payment i can pay with this card anytime anywhere and then the money will be drawn from my card through paypal so this is how it is you can actually use your card to pay without going through paypal but you can also use your card to pay through paypal as your preferred payment i prefer that so that my account will be very very robust if paypal know that you have been doing a lot of transactions with your card or with your account they know that you have been doing it severally if a huge money hits your account they will not be suspicious but if all of a sudden you are receiving thousands of dollars when you started only receiving just ten dollars five dollars they'll be suspicious because this is about money and they need to protect people's accounts in fact they have had a lot of issues with people and how they manage their accounts so they are very careful if they find anything suspicious with your account they ask questions bring this bring that before we can give you back your account or they just about ban your account they just do that always so be careful with your accounts and make sure you are doing the things legitimately and feel free nobody will hurt you on paypal if you are doing things legitimately so there are two accounts here i have my own paypal account where my money is and then i have a card link to this if i had a bank if ghana was paypal compliant we would have had a bank but since 
um, Ghana is not people compliant. We can't have a bank unless you have a bank in America or somewhere else where you have your banking de- details. You can link your bank as well to PayPal. And that is when you can withdraw monies. You can withdraw your monies to your bank eh, and take the monies out. Even though you can also do it with your card. Our card is a Ghanaian card, the Africa card. I also put a video in the description area for you to get an Africa card from UBA. So these are the two things I have on my account. And with this card, I can put any amount, tens of cities or dollars on the card, which I don't advise you should put money you would need to buy something on the card. Don't put so much on it. Because if someone gets hold of your card, all the money is is for the person and this card is a prepaid card um, when you go to the video i'll put in the description area i'll talk about this card in depth it's a prepaid card it's not linked to any bank account so then you don't lose your money if someone gets hold of this account you only lose the money in on the card but it's not linked to any other bank account where you have all your money there so back to paying your fees right now i'm um, for example this is a demo video i'm doing a demonstration um i've gained admission in university in the uk and i have to pay immediately because i need to go probably next week i need to pay my fees immediately and you need a paypal account go to the description area and sh- i'll show you how to create the account but you go to the home page or the payment portal of the school so for this purpose, I'm using this school, University of Birmingham. And um, please, it's not advisable to be using or to be going through payment procedures on online portals because these are legitimate businesses and they are serious people. You can't just go there and do demonstrations on people's account. But for your purpose and for this demonstration, I will use this school for this. And so we are paying either by debit or credit card or PayPal. Be careful with this and pay attention to this. You are either paying by debit card, credit card, or PayPal. I'll show you all the dynamics here. So we've read all this and then we want to make the online payment. Again, since I'm not in this school, I'll be putting in um, (laughs) dump data, but you shouldn't be doing that. not advisable. It's unethical. I'll put in just random data and then my first name will be Nana. The middle name will be JJ and the family name will be K or coffee. Let's go with coffee and then we continue. So basically, this is how these are. Okay, so it shouldn't be more than seven. Okay. There you are. What am I paying? So select payment options. I'm paying tuition fee. Probably if I'm paying accommodation, I'll click on this. If I'm paying accommodation, advanced rent payment, I'll also click on that. And the tuition fee is probably £2,000. And you can't pay now with this button here. You just have to continue. Okay, so now this is my whole data. I'm doing this quickly so that the video would be shorter. I, I don't want it to be so long to waste anybody's time but this is how it looks like so this is the tuition fee two thousand pound and this is the total we're paying that's my bio data and then continue so now you find here it says either you pay with paypal express or debit or credit card so as i said with when you go with paypal express that is an option with paypal to pay with paypal quickly they have a process where you can pay with PayPal quickly. But if you use a debit or credit card, that means you are going to put your debit or credit card details on this platform, but not on PayPal. It may come in two ways. Either you have your card or your cre- your debit or credit card linked to PayPal already, or you don't have a PayPal account. So let's go with the first option. If you don't have a PayPal account and you click on this and you go and continue, this is what will happen. You'll be given a form to fill all these details. This is the cardholder name. Let me go to UBA Africa card. 
So this is how the UBF card looks like. This is the card and they have the 16 digits number here and this one is customized but normally you don't have your name there and they have other details at the back. Let's go to the Google search with this one here. Okay. Let's scroll down and see if you can find one with yes. Okay. I want the other side of the card to show you how it looks like. Yes. So this is the other side of the card. There is these three digits here and there is the 16 digits here. So we go to University of Birmingham. You put in the 16 digits number here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes. Oh, this is the card name. So we cut that and paste here. And the card holder name is Nana J J. And the security code on the UBA Africa card is the one I showed you here. It's a three digits number here. It's normally not exposed, but when you get a card, you see that it's there. You find those three digits there, and then you put it there. This is what six nine two. Okay, six nine two, and then the expiry dates January twenty twenty two. Oh, 2021 normally is for two or three years let's go with that and the start date probably March 2019 yes normally you have the expiry dates the start dates normally don't, uh, doesn't come but probably the school wants to know when your, your card started working and you put in your country and the details for that purpose for your billing address so let's go and then we choose Ghana here and the address pa, 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 pa. Mm -hmm. that's my beautiful address okay zip code um, for the zip code I've this is the z mm, zip code you should be using with a new GPS system you can either put the hyphen there or not and then you put in your email address so if you don't have an email address I also link to a video for you to create an email address in the description area you put the email address there let's say Kofi let's copy that and paste here a contact number zero two Four four Papa Shinkan Lapu two three three. So then we continue. If we continue, since I've opened my PayPal account, it can easily go into my PayPal account. I don't want that. That can get my PayPal account banned. But that is just about it. This means immediately you type in the 16 digit number, the card will identify itself already. It will identify it as either debit or visa card. It will automatically check one of these boxes either debit or visa card and then your card will be used to pay you may not have a prepayment account but you have used your card to do a, your payments in other words you can also have this card linked to your PayPal account but it will still use that card to pay so that is the option for you if you if you want to pay and you have a card it's good to always have a prepaid card and i recommend that you be africa this card for you you can get it in any UBA branch. That is all for using your card. But if you want to use your PayPal account itself, this is how you go. So we have come back and then we have to we want to continue once again. And then we will continue again. Now we are using PayPal Express. That means quickly pay through PayPal. The dynamics here is that you may either have let me log in back into my PayPal account. Yes, you may either have huge monies paid to you from your suppliers, your debtors, your contractors, or people you have worked for, probably $1,000, and that will reflect on this balance here, but not on your card, not on your bank, even though you can do that later. But it will be reflecting on your PayPal 
account balance. That is the name of the account. That is your summary of your PayPal balance. Or you can have the money on this card and then you use it as your preferred payment. So when you go in there, there are, when you create the account for the first time and you're linking your card, they will give you that, op that option whether to use your PayPal balance as your preferred payment. That means whenever you want to pay anything, PayPal will first use your balance. If it finds no money in your balance, then it will go, go into your card and find money in your card to pay. But I prefer to always use my prepaid card as my preferred payment. So PayPal will then come here. When I continue, it will look for my PayPal account and then go and find money to do the payment. I don't want to risk my PayPal account. So I'll first log out. Yes. Since I've logged out, I, let me try to continue and you see how it will go. It will come to this form. This form only needs your email address and that is your PayPal email address. In fact, if you have any other email address you prefer to receive receipts from payments, you put that here. So I'll put in the, this email address. Yes, and the contact number two three three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Okay. But then your next option is to check out with PayPal. This is going into your your PayPal account to look for your PayPal balance first and then your debit or credit card linked to your PayPal account second. But if your preferred payment is your debit or debit, uh, debit or credit card, which is linked to your PayPal account, that is where it's going. And it will go there and find the money, £2,000. If it's up to that money, then it will automatically pay and then send you a receipt. If you don't have that money on your card or on your PayPal balance, your transaction or your payment will not go through. So now let's go in there and see. So immediately... If my account was still online, I would have tried to, you see, <laughs> I would have tried to immediately withdraw the money or see whether I have money on my account and then do the withdrawal. But since I've logged out, look at what it's showing me. It still has cookies. Uh, I don't want to be technical here, but it knows that my account on this browser and it has brought my account out. And now it's asking me, do you want us to do this payment for you using your preferred card, which is 2,691 US dollars, equivalent of 2,000 pounds. If you want that, you continue. If you want to add another card for the payment, you add, oh, Jesus Christ. Let me go back. <laughs> I'm compromising my account. <laughs> this was serious. <laughs> okay, so that is just about it. I don't know how I clicked on that. <laughs> that can get my account banned. So you should be very careful when you are doing something like this. But basically, this is how it is. And um, let me try and do it once again. So if you order the payment, it will then go through and your payment will be made. It's as simple as that. That is how you do almost every payment you do on PayPal. That is how you pay for your fees or anything related to payments online with PayPal. That is just about that. Let me end this video. In another video, I'm going to show you how to pay for just about anything. I have a lot of payments I've done on my PayPal account. I'll give you those examples in that video for your perusal so that we can go into how to maneuver your way through PayPal. Thank you very much for this video. And that was very risky.